Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well on this sunny Friday afternoon. It is Chloe here from Scratch Magazine and I'm really excited to be with you today because I'll be joined by Sarah Thompson who will be telling us all about the tools that can save nails, which is Keezy. So Keezy is a really exciting tool that you can retail to clients and sell in the salon as a way to save your finished manicure look. It can help nails from snapping and chipping and things like that. So it's a really useful tool that will be useful to benefit you in the salon as a retail item. So as always, this will be saved to our IGTV and our Facebook. So if you have to dip out at any point, then you can always come back and watch it. And I'll be joined by Sarah, who is one of the heads of Keezy who helps run it. I'm just going to see if I can invite her now. Let me just invite her in. And then we can find out all about it because there's lots of ways you can make them branded for your nail business. So really, really excited to find out more. Sarah, I've just invited you. So if you could please accept, that'd be great. And then we can get started. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, I'm good. Friend. How are you? <laughs> Yes, I know. Happy I know, Friday. Definitely. What a week it's so been. I was just explaining a bit about Keezy there, but do you want to explain um, what is a Keezy? Yeah, of course. No problem. So thank you for having us. Um, Keezy is this little innovative tool that I have right here. It's like a nail saving necessity that um, my partner and his dad designed a couple of years ago now. Um, and essentially it came from um, us not being able to get our keys off our key ring. Um, we were trying to move out of the flat and we couldn't get keys off at all. So they came up with an idea and a way to do it. So I'll show you how it works. Um, but normally you'd have a keysy on your key ring. We've got plenty of colours and, and different patterns, but here's an orange one. And you just unclip yeah. it on your keysy like this, can you see? And then you are able to open your key ring, like so. So you just slot it into the little lock. Easy peasy. There you no go. Worries. Sorry, I'm having to adjust my camera. <laughs> and then ro rotate. Normally that wouldn't happen. Rotate and then you can take your key on and off really easily without chipping or damaging any of your nails. So that is the way it works. And it's super helpful. It saved us on so many occasions. My partner's training for the London Marathon actually on Sunday and he uses it like no tomorrow every time that he's taking his keys off to go for a run because he hates the jingling in his pockets. So um, that's a little keysy. And there's obviously lots of little other tools that it can be used for. But there you go, key off and putting the key back on wow, is pretty straightforward too. It's an everyday task that you don't even think about twice, but then actually it's just nice to have that sort of help. You mentioned a bit about it a minute ago, but what other sort of tasks can it help with? Okay, so my my absolute favourite one is opening the Amazon par parcels that are, seem to be constantly being delivered. Um, scissors are always in the, in the dishwasher or just not really to hand, but my keys always are. So. It's super helpful for opening um, parcels. And I was just looking there to see if one's just arrived, but it hasn't, uh, so I can't demonstrate. But essentially, this bit here of the keysy, you slice that down the sellotape and it opens a parcel like impeccably well. Um, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't really recognize it, but it does. Uh, so that, that's fab for that. That's one of my favorite ones. Another one that I always get caught out with is opening a tin of like either Heinz beans or um, a nice, Sprite or some tonic water if it's um maybe a Friday evening, um uh, <laughs> and um yeah it's super straightforward so literally just saving your nails by being able to get under that hook and I'll try and adjust the camera or I'll adjust my hands getting under the hook yeah and just being able to to pop it like that or at least lift it up and start the popping process. There you go. That's it. So that is the most, that's the straight, that's, that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ways of doing it. Um, finding the end of a cell tape is also really important. I don't know if anyone else has trouble with that, but I really struggle. So I tend to take a keysy and just um, take the cell tape and the duct tape around until I can find the end. Um, and that's a super useful way, especially if you're packaging up products or um, sending products back sometimes. So there we go. I've just found the end of it by, by going along with keysy. If anyone's also uh, just moved into a new place or putting up pictures or had 
been gifted pictures for Christmas, the picture frame hook, you know, that bit where you get your nails stuck under, um, trying to unhook the back of the board to put in a new picture is another fantastic one. Um, or untaking staplers um, from, but if you've stapled documents together incorrectly or filed an invoice wrongly, you need to take the staple out. That is a super great way of, of getting that out, getting that out. And I'm just having a think to see if, oh, another cracking one. Um, if you're ever buying like flowers for your mum and um, you don't want them to know how much you spent on flowers because you've probably got them maybe a little bit off taking that price tag off is almost impossible and I'm forever with my thumbnail trying to get the sticker off so Casey's have saved my life on many of occasions there I love getting, that there's getting so it many to do and I don't see happening in the scratch office and we are absolutely obsessed with them we love them because I'm so guilty of just trying to use you've got to remember that nails are jewels not tools and I'm always so guilty of trying to, you know, yes. I've got like a tin of soup at lunch or something, even in the office, I'm trying to like eat nails, and in the end, I sometimes get a spoon, and I'm like, you know what, don't get a spoon, get a keezy. Yeah, honestly, if you if you have them on your on your keys, I've um I've even given them to colleagues, and they have them on their kids' school backpacks, and they use them for so many different things at school where they just aren't they don't have the strength to be able to do some of the things. So yeah, they are a super handy everyday tool. And it's the, the uses that they have are not even what we could have imagined at the very beginning. I also so, love using the yeah. trolley token as um, well. Mm -hmm. Always have a key on me and to have a trolley token ready to yeah. go. Nobody carries cash anymore. <laughs> no, no, nobody has coins. Nobody, nobody at all. Unless you're, I, I, I don't know, unless you're trying to save your pennies for the for the bank and you're making a trip. But um, the keysies do come with a little keysy coin as well. Um, so some of the shopping trolleys that you'll all know about, you can either just insert a keysy as is, like that, but some of the ones that are a bit more sideways, I think it's Sainsbury's that has the sideways injection, so the keysy coin is perfect for just slotting in and slotting out, and obviously it comes in a nice little a nice little love heart, which is quite cute, um, but yeah, it's super good for shopping trolleys, and you, all, you always have your keys on you when you're out and about. It really, so, really is, and yeah, it's, it's a nifty little like tool. such a simple idea, but just so effective, and it just seems to do so many things. So how did this, how did Keezy come about? Whose idea was it and what's the story behind it? Yeah, so I, I'm trying to remember, we were leaving university, which was a good number of years Year, years ago now um, and as I said we were trying to get the keys off the key ring because I was I was at work and I needed a few last minute boxes taken out of the flat I was moving out of um, so I was trying to give my keys to my uh, partner and I we, we couldn't we couldn't do it um, he was he was unable to basically get his fingernails in to get the keys off I couldn't do it I'd had my nails done there was no way I was touching it um, even going to attempt that so that was where the idea sprung from um, but you know if someone's got to have a way of opening up hearings like this is far far too difficult you know surely a little tool you can just go like this and be able to open up the key ring you know um, and then my partner's dad is sort of in the R&D and sort of creation innovation world and he's got a few tools at home so the, they went home and experimented and came up with lots of different options of what it could be used for um, and Kesey just kind of took off from there so tapping into the nail industry and talking to everyone here I mean I, I, I um, we live in London at the minute we're down here for a few years and um, as you can imagine there's there's nail salons everywhere I'm sure I'm sure you know that um, and I was like there's got to be there's got to be interest here and it's just it's really taken off there's a lot of appetite for it which is really exciting and great to be seen Keezy being definitely. used in, in and a I different would say, way like, there, are, there is such a market for it because they, they come out of their nail appointment and they want to keep their you know their look that they've just you know spent money on and then they've probably spent time on so there's definitely a market there so could you explain a bit about the colors that are available the patterns and also a bit about the personalization that's also available Absolutely. So there are there are a lot of colours, um, but we just I think we have six or six on the website at the minute. Um, and I've got I've got array of them here. So there's definitely some pinks and some greens. Um, so these are the plain plain. Um, oh, that one's actually branded. Hold on, I'll come back to that one in a minute. Um, these are just some of the nice plain keysies that we have. We also have some some new pastel colours that have that have just come out. So these ones, we sell them for um, 85p and recommend that you retail them for £1.25, which is actually pretty low. And I do know people who are even selling them for sort of £3. 
Um, so the profit, the profit on one pound twenty-five is it's forty p. If you increase it, obviously there's there's a lot more opportunities there. Um, we have an array of patterns. That these ones actually aren't available on the website at the minute, but I wanted to show that we are we're constantly coming up with patterns. Um, there's even there's even one with a little bumblebee there. Um, so there's a selection of patterns on the website, which are just quite fun and a bit unique. Unique, and I've certainly found that some of my colleagues absolutely love these for their kids. Um, school backpacks and identifying because we all buy school backpacks at the same place apparently um so <laughs> making sure you take home the right backpack is a priority so these ones we sell for one pound 35 um and recommend that you, you sell these ones for a little bit more at two pounds and that's a profit of, of 65p but again you could be you could be selling that for a lot lot more um but if you're just trying to sort of get get a bit of appetite and test it out with your customers starting it a slightly lower price point could be helpful in the first instance and then we offer branding as well so what i really like about this is that particularly in sort of the capital cities there's a lot of there are there are a lot of nail salons but i like this one because you can put your company's logo or the name of your company on on it um which is really really nice and sort of you kind of you know you feel a bit of loyalty to that salon so if you haven't found somewhere that you're constantly going every week or every couple of weeks um you know this is this is a nice nice way of doing it your customers are showcasing that this is a great nail salon every time that they're out using their um uh loyalty card at the, at the uh shopping checking out or you know you know using their trolley or whatever so this is the branding one um what i would say with the branding is that there could also be an opportunity something we're still developing oh i should talk about prices first so prices for this one is two pounds forty we recommend and you, we, you know, you, you guys then sell this for sort of three pounds fifty, and that's profit of of um one pound and ten pence for all of the different products and offers. We will have a minimum order of fifty pieces. So, um, but obviously, if you order more, the price will come down. Um, but to go back to the branding one, what I was just saying is a, a nice idea is that you could essentially. You could have your branding on one side and a QR code on the back, which would allow your customers to scan the QR code. And you could have your loyalty point system on that. Because I was in getting my nails done a couple of weeks ago, and I am I've got too many stamp card collections in my purse. I can't between the coffee and the nail salons that I go to. There's just far too many in there. So I was thinking actually, if you had a keysy with a QR code on it that allowed your customer to scan and do their stamp based collection that way that could be that could be a really nice nice new easy thing that you're sort of saving your customer space in their wallet you know they're not having to constantly collect stamps it's just it's a nice way of doing it so that was one thing i, I really like that, that it, it like could work people are so guilty of having a loyalty card then losing it aren't they like that's so common and also you know it's yeah. environmentally friendly to not print you know, you know ordering all the printing so that sounds really really great as well i think that's such a good idea and so what's the minimum order for these so all of them are 50 minimum order of 50 keysies um and the prices that i sent out are set out just before are also for 50 keysies um uh, we have had questions around can i get 25 patterned and then 25 branded we, I mean, if you get in touch with us, we can sort something out. But our recommendation is to order 50, whatever your preference is. Um, and then we can we can sort of come back to you on the, your next order. You might want to try something different. So um, definitely get in touch with Keezy. The details are all on our Instagram and on our website. Um, if you have any questions or like specific questions around adaptations, it's not something that we're... Um, it's still something that we're building sort of for this industry. So if, if you have thoughts, do get in touch. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think I answered your question. Yeah, the answer is fifty. Just have someone ask, and please do repeat how much they are again, please. For all I of think so. yes. them from buying from us. Yeah. So plain colours, eighty-five p. Patterned, one pound thirty-five. And branded is one example. Here's another. Branded is two pounds forty. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. And if you have got any questions for Sarah, then please feel free to leave them in the comments and I can read them out. So obviously we've touched on it a bit already, but why do you think that, you know, especially the nail market and that, you know, nail tech in particular is such a good, makes such a good retail like, for nail salon? 
Yeah, definitely. Well, as you say, you know, our nails are our jewels. So once you've just come out and your customers have had their nails done, you want to protect them as much as you possibly can. And PZ is essentially a nail saving necessity at any moment that you're going to have at the touch of your fingertip. So I reckon that is a 10 out of 10 reason for having a PZ, that you just want to be able to protect your nails um, and, and always have sort of a backup plan in case you don't have whatever you need lying around. So there's that. And it obviously comes with a PZ coin as well. So that's that's super. Um, the other reason I do think is just sort of branding for your own, promoting your own brand. Um, social media is great, but there's nothing better than brand recognition and seeing what you might want out on the streets or where you think is a good place to go. If you're a new person moving to a new area, you don't know where the best nail salon is to go to, but if you see the same place and someone's keys in the supermarket three times, then you know you might be more inclined to try there. So there's your branding. And then I think it also offers like new opportunities for you. If you can do the QR code on here, um, and collect your loyalty stamps that way. I think that's a fantastic opportunity or you're able to share new content and new designs back with your customers through the QR code, however, however you want to play it. I think, I think that's a great opportunity. So, you know, they're not, they are not the most expensive product in the world, but they are fantastic and they, they'll yeah. sell your, they'll save yeah, your I customers. Agree. I think it's one of those things that you know, even if you have to display it until, like when, you're, when, they, you know, when they're paying for their nail treatment, it's such an easy thing to be like, oh, throwing a easy because when it's a, a low cost like that, it's easier to sell something like that and make an impulse purchase, isn't it? Yes, and we're all very guilty of an impulse, impulse buy. So yeah, absolutely. Having them at the, the tail front and center, I'm forever looking whatever there's there because the distraction tool as well, isn't it? When you're sitting there getting your nails done, it's nice and relaxing, but you also are looking around and seeing what's on offer. Definitely. So, and is there just yeah, a couldn't agree more. that comes with the Keezy? Um, from the top of my head, there is a stand. There absolutely is a stand. Um, and from memory, it's a nice, it's a nice white stand that you can get your keysies on, or they also come in packs of packs of four, um, which are really nice, which you can see on the website as well. So, um, and actually, there is also boxes. So there's there's a lot going on, as you can imagine. Um, my partner has adapted kind of what that looks like over the last few years. So yeah, you can either get packs of four stands. Brilliant, yeah, because we sold them um, at Olympia Beauty and honestly, we, they were so, so popular and people were talking about them and everyone loved them. Especially we had scratch personalised ones as well and they just went so quickly. Fantastic, no, that's so good. Um, yeah, I would say that they are definitely sort of really taking off in the, ma in the nail market. So that's really great to hear and I'm pleased to hear it. And hopefully, Keezy's will just continue to, to be in everyone's yeah, salon definitely. and do really well. Comments. You have people saying that they love Keezy's, they've gone down that absolute treat and how, you know, they're absolutely loving it. So fingers crossed, Keezy's is the way to go. <laughs> definitely. And do you, yeah. how do you see like the future of Keezy's? Do you see it evolving like, into a different form to create any other tasks or different colours? What's the future? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, so Keezy Coin is a relatively new development so that you can have that on your Keezy and then be able to do it as a shopping trolley token. New colours and new patterns are something that they, that they, my partner and his dad are constantly, constantly coming up with. Um, every time we head back up to Scotland where it's sort of Keezy's made in a, in a workshop there. Um, there's always new, new, new patterns lying around. So there'll definitely be new patterns coming to market at some point. Um, I went through a real craze a while ago of really loving that marble effect. So, you know, that's something that, 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 that could come to the front if, if lots of people inquire about it. But I would say is that we're open to hearing everyone's thoughts. You know, if people have ideas, do get in touch. You know, we do want to, we do want to offer our three template products of colour, patterned and branded. And that will be something that we continue with. But if people have other ideas about how to make them look better and more suited Definitely. to their salon, then get in touch. And I think, as you say, that marble, even such nail art trends, that even to have a keysy that matches your nail look, I think that's such a selling point as well. I, I love that. Uh, yeah, I definitely. It's such a family-run business as well. That is so, so lovely. And people do love buying from family-run businesses as well. Yeah, yeah. I know it is and um, they've, they've done really well I mean Keezy's definitely evolved over the years um, and you know they've come up with different ways to market it oh we're getting more questions about prices um, I can I can um, go over that again if yes, that's helpful please. I think just just for anyone who missed it yeah, yeah.
Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. So coloured, we sell for 85p and recommend that you retail for £1.25. That's a profit of 40p. But I do know nail salons are selling it for like two or three pounds. I mean, you guys judge how much your customers would really be willing to pay for, for these nice coloured ones. They come in a variety of different colours. I've got a few here to show. So yeah, we, we, we trust your judgment on how much you want to sell them for. But that's just our recommended base. Then patterns. £1.35 that we sell these for. We recommend that you sell them on for £2. And that's a profit of 65p per keezy. And, you know, per 50 keezies that you sell, that's a £32 profit. Um, or £32.50, actually. But yeah, that, that's the profit for these ones. And then branded, I've got a couple of examples here. That's £2.40 that we sell these for. Um, and uh, we recommend that you sell them for £3.50. That's a profit of £1.10. And per 50 box of Keezy, that's £55. Obviously, the more you order, the cheaper brackets we can come down on. Um, but if you want to do a trial, take take on a few different different kinds, then we can certainly accommodate that. And then Perfect. and then you can Thank order you more. as so much. Even. And just for anyone who might have um, dipped in, could you please clarify where to um, buy Keezy from or if they want a bespoke personalised order as well? Yeah, absolutely. So if you go to our Instagram, the website link should be in the bio. If it's not, I will do it straight after this. Um, and then on that website, that will take you to the three options and you can buy them there or there's the email to inquire. Or if you message us on Instagram, we'll send you the email address. Brilliant. Thank to you get so much. And thank you so much for joining me and showing us all about Peasy. No problem. Thank you for having me. And if you get any follow up thank questions, you. just get in on... touch. But no. thanks so much. Minimum orders, minimum orders 50. Sorry, I can see more questions coming in. Sends about postage yeah. as well. That will be on the website. I don't Brilliant. know that off the top of my head. But yeah, have a have great weekend and thank you so much. After, so people can always tune in if they've had to dip out at any point as well. Thank you so much. Perfect. Have a thank Bye -bye. you. Have a super weekend.